Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. Today we're going to create another scrapbook layout featuring the In This Together collection from Close to My Heart. Last week's layout I went into depth showing all the bits and pieces of this kit so be sure to check that out if you missed it. But today I'm going to be documenting these two photos that talks about the toilet paper shortage. So those are my two photographs I'm going to be working with where I'm on a mission trying to find toilet paper. Working on my Versamat, I'm going to start with a piece of white daisy cardstock, and I know I primarily want this green pattern paper to be my kind of my main piece here. I am using a Pinterest layout that I found, which I will leave the in the description box below if you guys want to check that out. But I just cut this down to nine inches by twelve, and I'm tearing it across the bottom here. So I'm tearing it towards me so I have that white edge that you see there and I'm just kind of tearing along and it's kind of straight. I'm actually going to go in and tear a little bit more but I know I want my photos oriented like this. Now I'm going to create several torn layers kind of stacked under this first green pattern paper here. So that was a piece of sapphire and then we're going to go back to another pattern. So we have the pattern solid and then the pattern and I think that looks really good. For my title I'm going to use the simple serif dies. There is the uppercase and the lowercase. I really like these dies. They are the perfect size for creating titles on your layout. They do come with a coordinating stamp. I'm not sure I'm going to use that today. I want to add some orange to this layout. So this is nectarine cardstock and I'm going to spell out the word pandemic. I love having dies because you never run out of letters and you can customize it to match your layout so easily. So once I get all my letters arranged, I'll run that through my die cutting machine and now we can just kind of place these across the torn edge there. I think that orange stands out really well. So I'm on the sapphire blue. So I'm kind of, you know, making sure to focus my title in that area. For the second part of my title, I have used the lowercase simple serif and then I've cut out using that same clover green pattern paper. So this will be fun. Can you guys guess what it spells? It's like unscramble the word. Now I was never very good at word scrambles, so I would not know. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and spell the word problem. So my title reads pandemic problems. And as you all know, not having toilet paper is definitely a problem. So I'm bringing in a stamp set. This is called Through Thick and Thin. It is retired. I'm so sorry, but it has this perfect little, you know, stamp that says I survived the TP crisis of 2020. So I had to add that. And all these other little bits and pieces are from the coordinating sticker sheet that comes with this collection. So I want to create a visual triangle with the color orange. So we have um, in each cluster, I want to make sure to include that color. Now these little embellishments up top look kind of lost. So if you have been watching my channel, you guys know how much I love my stitched rectangle. I use it a lot on cards. Now this outer portion that makes a frame, I like to use this on scrapbook layouts to kind of highlight a certain area. And it's really going to add some oomph to this little embellishment cluster up top here. So already that looks better, but I think I wanna add a little of that sapphire blue. I'm gonna scoot these to this side and I'm gonna bring in this sapphire blue circle, tuck it behind my photo, and then we will layer our embellishments on top of the circle. Not only does that blue sapphire draw your eye up, but it also provides an anchoring spot for these little pieces. I'm also going to add some interest by adding some dimensional foam to some of the elements here. So we'll get this little circle popped up. And I also like how we have this circle here and then that sapphire blue circle kind of repeats that. And then we'll get this COVID-19 stuck right here, overlapping my photo just a bit. And now there are these cute little orange hearts on the sticker sheet. So I thought I'd add those because why not? It just reinforces that color of the nectarine. And then from that same stamp set, this says hashtag quarantine life. And I thought that would be cute. I'm stamping that in black. And then I realized I want to add a little bit more. So we're going to add another hashtag stay home up on the other side. So kind of whatever I do to one cluster, I like to repeat in the other. 
I'm going to use my T-square ruler to add some journaling lines. I'm drawing, drawing, drawing these in in pencil so that after I write my journaling, I can erase these lines. So I am not very good about writing straight with outlines, so I definitely need to do this when I'm journaling on my layouts. The T-square ruler is a definite must too. So I am I have my journaling pen and I'm just writing about how, you know, the toilet paper shortage was kind of a big deal and people were hoarding. There was delays in manufacturing and shipping and then the stores were putting limits on how many you could buy each trip and and how I had to go. <laughs> the empty shelves are um, Walmart and it was completely wiped out. And then I ended up going like three places and finally found some at Trader Joe's and it was just a tiny four pack and it wasn't very good, but it was better than nothing. I'm trying to be better about adding my handwriting to my layouts. You know, I, I'm more of a type it and put it on kind of a person because I think it looks cleaner, but I know future generations are going to want to see my handwriting. So I have to remember that and put it in. Plus, every time I complain about it, you guys always tell me how nice it is. So I just need to start believing that, right? So as I'm finishing my journaling, I'm kind of looking at that large white space to the left and I want to add some splatter. So I'm going to lay down my all-purpose mat just so cleanup is nice and easy and then just bring in a couple sheets of recycled paper here to cover where I don't want splatter. I'm going to use my sapphire um, shimmer brush and then I have another pen just to tap it. And then you just tap, tap, tap and add those splatters. You can go as light or as heavy as you want. I just wanna get this little area here. And I think that's gonna be just the finishing touch it needed in that area. Yep, I think that looks good. So then I spot the pattern paper with the speech bubbles on it. And I'm like, oh, this is cute. There's this little hashtag mask up. And then this other one that says, is this the new normal? And I thought those would be really cute on that layout. So I chose ones that were close to the corner or the bottom of the paper so that I could cut them out without really messing up that pattern uh, solid piece. So I'm just fussy cutting these little speech bubbles out really quick. I'll do the other one off camera there so you don't have to watch me do that. And now I'm just going to add this one over on the left, just tucked under the COVID-19 here. Perfect. And then this one I'm going to add over on the bottom right hand side of my photo. I just felt it was kind of, it needed a little something there. And I think this is gonna be just the thing. Yep, that looks good. That is definitely a question I've asked myself a lot. Is this the new normal? So then I have these little um, gems that come with the collection and I went ahead and added those off camera. So I just put three there, a couple in the other cluster up top, and then again over in this cluster on the left-hand side. You guys can hop on over to my blog at craftyconceptswitherin.com to see more still shots of this layout and other layouts I've created with this collection. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you be a part of the Crafty Concepts with Erin community. Here's some more videos I think you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.